Hey guys, it's Julia here, and today's gonna be a bit of an interesting video. So I recorded this video last Friday. You guys are seeing this on Wednesday, but me and one of my friends is gonna be reading all the bugs in Windows 11 build 25174 and be funny about it just to make a funny video for you guys. So if you'd like to introduce yourself, go ahead. Hey, I'm Edward, and I've been a viewer since 2015, 2016. And ever since that, I've been interested in computers and I have managed to build my own computer, which is surprising. Yeah, I did too, and it took me like sticking eight hours or something to build it, and yeah. If you guys already didn't see, because that video is probably uh, up by now. Yeah. So, Alright, right, let's get right onto the bugs, because this is going to be hilarious. Yeah, so you guys can see I'm updating a VM to, to that build right now. It's a bit outdated, because I don't, you know, go on it all the time, but you can see, guys, I'm updating it. So, we're going to start showing it. Are you guys ready? I think I might just overlay the, the, the pictures. Oh, yeah, that seems good. Alright, so... <laughs> Bug number one. Go ahead and read bug number one. Some games that use easy anti cheat may crash or cause the device to bug check. What? <laughs> what? So, if you guys don't know, Fortnite and uh, I think Fall Guys use e like what easy anti cheat. Yeah. And if you don't know what that is, uh, go look it up on Google because I'm not gonna be. Basically, um, no Fall yet. Guys or Fortnite for you. <laughs> no. On this build. <laughs> Alright, next, the next bug. The audio may stop working in certain <laughs> cases. Yes, I love how my audio will just stop working when I'm trying to listen to music or edit a video. Yeah, yeah that would be good. Like, I'm just listening to my, what, my game soundtracks, and then my audio just cuts off. Yeah, I love that. I know, right? Yeah. Several apps may crash on launch in certain cases. Yeah, what? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Oh no. That's 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 horrible. Love your that's apps horrible. Crash. Love your apps to just crash on you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just playing. I'm just gonna open up Steam. Why, then, why is oh, it not where, working? Where'd Steam go? <laughs> Where'd it go? Great. Thanks. Users may experience decrease in FPS when playing certain games due to the wrong graphics card being used. <laughs> Excuse me? Define a wrong graphics card. What's a wrong graphics card? How? How? If you have one GPU uh, in per computers, then you're lucky. Look, what's the update? Fine, Bruh. restart now. Update the Insider build <laughs> while I read this. <laughs> the bug yeah. Insider build. Only do this in a VM. Yeah, always do it in a VM. Don't, Don't this do is, it on your This is a like good me. example of why to not use Insider on a main system. Sometimes even a spare system in some cases, like if you're going to use it. I might get Insider off like me. after this video. Like me, because... Obviously. Alright, <laughs> right. time way. for you to start reading the file explorer bugs. The up button next to the address bar may be misaligned with other buttons? How? How the heck? I meant, how? I'm confused. How do you misalign the address buttons? Yeah. Like, like with, uh, like with, uh, Edge. It's like, broken. Yeah. If you want to pull up the, uh, file I just sent, that's good. Because All right, I'll put it over the what? video. You guys can see it. <laughs> oh gosh, this is so embarrassing, Microsoft. I know. Okay, the next one. The left half of the title bar may not be draggable via mouse or touch. Uh, uh how no, do you no, do that? No. How did you manage to do that? To not be able to no drag idea. it the title bar? <laughs> I'm confused. So, why oh, why the left why? half? Why? Why? Why only the left half? I don't know. I, I don't understand I don't that. Try, imagine trying to drag a window up and you just can't, and you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, like you're confused. Yeah, right, I'm gonna like, read the third one. The homes, documents, pictures, and other folders may be duplicated in the navigation pane or appear on the desktop? What? I've had that happen just... on 10. Like, okay, so my you computer. Told me that. My computer keeps putting the quick access icon on my desktop for some reason. It's really annoying. Okay, so okay, so you're telling me that if I just put a folder, like, for example, desktop, well, not desktop, or like, documents, it just moves it to the desktop? Are you joking? Was it going to be two documents folders? 
Apparently so. It says may duplicate. Or duplicate in the navigation pane, meaning it, there might be, it might show twice. I've had that happen. I will pull up a screenshot if I can find one. But I've had it duplicate oh, on Windows no. 10 before. And I've had no. that bug on 10. That's not just an 11 bug. No way. Mike. If they're finally going to fix it and just realized it, now they're insane. Oh, wow, right. my VM already updated. That's amazing. Okay, next bug. The color of the search box background may be the opposite color of the current color mode. Uh, what? Elaborate? What? Huh? What? What? How, how does that happen? That... I don't know. Alright. The delete key may not work on files. <laughs> no, no. You're telling me that. If I delete something from my downloads folder, it won't register? Oh, so now you're telling me that if I go to System32 and I press delete, it may work. Yep, try to spam the delete oh. button now. Let's spam the delete button until it deletes and be there all day. <laughs> it's, it's like the media controls on my keyboard. Every time I press something, it crashes Explorer. That's wonderful. Wow. Alright, so all right. for the shell, on some locales, the default font used in several UI elements, such as the date and time of the taskbar, may change to regular Seagull UI instead of Seagull UI variable. H how does a font just change itself? <laughs> what? Okay, it says on some locales, so maybe only certain, like, locations and stuff. So certain locations right. might not be able to use the font, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that makes no sense. Alright, let's go to widgets. Widget preferences, such as temperature units and pinned widgets, may unexpectedly reset due to, due to, uh, I don't know what. Reset default? default? Huh? Okay, wait, hold up. I think it's this talking about news default. and interests. It's talking about news and interest resetting. I've had it happen to someone before. I've no, seen no, it. temperatures too. No, temperatures too. That's happened to me and another person on Twitter. I've been using, like, Celsius, but every time I change it, it resets back to Fahrenheit. Yeah, because it doesn't save the settings because of a bug. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Microsoft. I know, this is why right? I love Windows 11. I know, right? Okay, next yeah. one. The notification badge number may appear misaligned on the taskbar. Well, rip all those people that don't like to see misaligned things. Bruh. For the, really? their OCD is gonna get triggered by that. The notification banner for some badging may not appear in the widgets for in some case. Huh? What? What? In some cases, it won't appear in the widgets board. What? What do you mean in some cases? Like, what triggers it to not appear? Yeah, yeah, what, what triggers it to not appear? That's weird. We should okay. see if we can find these bugs. Let's see. Yeah, we should. Let's try and drag the left of the window. It's working for me. I can't. Oh, no. oh it's the very it. left. Oh wait, no, it's working. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh. <laughs> I don't get it either. All right. All right. So let's read print. It's time for me. The system may hang or crash when trying to print from certain apps. Okay, so if you're saying if I'm gonna print this document, my whole system is gonna lock up. Yeah, it's pretty much. It's what if it's an important document that I need and yeah. my whole computer locks up on me? Yeah, and then wh what if you what if you can't save? Yeah, what if you can't save and then you lose like oh, your God. ten page essay because you didn't click save and you try to print it? Now you're gonna have to blame to your English teacher that the oh my computer crashed whilst I was trying to write an essay and now I can't get it back. Yeah, and then be like, yeah, blame Insider for that. This is why you don't yeah, use Insider gonna... in a productive environment. Yeah. Alright, next All right. one. The lines may not include when pre printing tables from certain apps. Oh, okay, so you're telling me that the lines may not be included. What? When printing like a table, I think, is what it's saying. Like, when you print a table and there's no lines, is that what it's talking about? I'm like a bit confused on that one. Yeah. What? I'm confused. I think it's like if you print an Excel document, the lines for the table are just gonna be gone and it's just gonna have numbers or something mm. stupid like that. That's a weird bug. I've never heard of something like that. Never. Alright, yeah. my All right. turn. We have two more. I have one more to read and he has one more to read. So, yeah. for safe mode, 
Quick settings oh, and date slash time clock on the task or maybe missing due to, due to capability access manager service not running. What the heck is that service? And also, you're saying that my date and time and stuff is just going to be gone? Yeah, it's happened to me before. Uh, it's happened to me before without running safe mode. I don't know why. That is just so random. So it's not just a safe mode bug then. Clicking Bluetooth and devices and personalization pages may crash the settings up due to an overrun of a stack based buffer at 0xc0000409. Um, don't know what uh, that has to uh, do, but like, I've I can't test it out because I don't have Bluetooth. I will test it out for you. But it may not work. You have to be in safe mode. You have to be in safe mode. <laughs> I have to be in safe mode. Shoot. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in safe mode. Oh wow, OneDrive isn't signed in. I don't give a crap. <laughs> 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 All right, good. Thanks. I don't care about OneDrive. Let's see if the audio's broken. It's just like with my, like not Microsoft, Apple with a uh, five gig uh, worth of online uh, storage. That's great. Okay, I'm so not joking. I'm saying, to fill that up. okay, so let's see if I create a uh, new text document and then I push the delete key, it deletes. Okay. Huh? Okay, so it says it doesn't work on the delete key might not work, but I just deleted a file. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just delete one of like I'm gonna delete like um an undownloaded uh thing from the uh, edge. It works. Okay, so I mean, some, it's it, I mean it did say on it said it said it may not work. It didn't say will not work, so that's to be fair. Obviously. So I would show all these bugs, but I just wanted to read it and stuff like that. I mean I tried to get a few of them to bug out, but I couldn't. Some of them I mean, you could try the safe mode. What's the funniest bug that you've seen? I'll try to do that. Uh to be honest, you can't do the easy anti cheat because you're on a VM. But honestly, the several apps may crash on launch. That's funny because like, why would you? Why would your applications crash out nowhere? I love the one that that explains the decrease in FPS because I don't understand what it means by wrong graphics card. Oh, you know what? I think I know what it means. What? Um, what? by wrong graphics card. The computers that have more than one GPU, like integrated and dedicated, maybe it uses like the integrated instead of the dedicated or something like that. How can you mess that up badly? Like maybe that's what it's referring to by wrong graphics card. It's using like maybe. the integrated instead. I heard that Windows 11 uh, actually is a lot better when it comes to switching graphics because you know those laptops that have both integrated and dedicated? Yeah. I heard it's actually a lot better. Oh god, my VM's glitched. My VM's- the clock's gone. Like, the clock is <laughs> actually gone. <laughs> there we go, we got- we got a bug. Yay, we got one bug Finally. in the video. <laughs> and clicking Bluetooth and devices <laughs> may crash. What is this? Search the web thing. Okay, let's try let's and- let's the replicate thing. the other bug. Let's replicate the other bug. So, clicking right. Bluetooth and devices or personalization. Let's see. Um... All right, Bluetooth and device, it crashed! <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try personalization now. Yeah. It gave me an error! Oh, great. The system detected, oh, yeah, an, the system detected an overrun of a stack-based buffer in this application. This overrun could not... Could, this overrun could potentially allow a malicious user to gain access to this application. What? You gotta send me a screenshot of that. I will, what? okay. I will say this. This was a really funny video just reading the insider change log. I'm sure by the time this goes up, they, there might be another build. But this is Windows 11 build 25174. I'll leave a link in the description to the beta wiki article. Well, technically, I don't know why they had to not mention a bug that actually happens with some users like me. When updating, sometimes it fails. Like, it just fails out of nowhere due to, uh, like, something like, I don't know, unsafe OS or something? I don't know. It just always crashes. 
So basically, bottom line, guys, do not main Windows 11 Insider unless you're okay with having bugs like this. Although the bugs didn't seem that noticeable, to be honest. But still, I mean, yeah. any beta is going to be buggy, and that's obvious. So if you want to run Insider, just keep in mind you might experience bugs and issues. And also frequent updates, because it's like once a week. I'm adding this in the video. I checked for updates, and I'm already getting a cumulative update. Did they try and fix some of the bugs? My god, are you joking me? I'm checking for updates right now. I think like, they released an update to fix god. these bugs. I think they realized they I swear, <laughs> if they legit updated, that if they sent out an update right before we ended it, I'm gonna laugh. I searched Google on Bing longer. and it literally... Okay, you know, I don't care if I'm using Bing. <laughs> Bing's useless. Bing to get installed, which was released on... August <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, no, no, you're, no, you're, no, you're messing with me. It was released today. It was released today. I, oh my God. Well, let me just go to this link that Microsoft is, re is directing me to. No, no, I think this is, no, no, there's no bugs. It's no bugs. It's to test Microsoft servicing pipelines. Yeah, why are you sending it out to everyone? <laughs> That I've... makes no sense, Microsoft. No sense. Wait. Well, oh. any insiders will receive it, but what what is the update for? What's it mean? Okay. Servicing pipelines. Okay, this is mm -hmm. just so funny, guys. All right, I'm gonna stop but... this so it's not long. But anything else you wanna say, real fast? What was the servicing pipelines? Is it some like servers that they run? I something? think it's like oh, testing no. updates or something, like the cumulative updates. I think it's testing the dot numbers, but I I could be wrong. Dot one zero one zero after it's done. Yeah. Okay, guys. So you're telling me they just released this update 15 minutes ago from this recording. <laughs> well, let me check. Uh, Wait. Let me look, check. It, th this tweet was literally. Oh, oh. It's a test they're servicing pipeline, but the tweet was at 1005. It's 1022, except I started recording this video, like, I don't remember, like, around the same time. They, yeah, they posted at 6. Like, they posted at 6 p.m. What the heck? I know, right? Oh, oh, oh. Great timing, Microsoft. We were just uh, we were just laughing at your bugs, and now you had to send out an update. God damn! I know, right? <laughs> now I'm gonna update. Now I'm gonna update my computer. Great. All but right. I'm not gonna do it now. All right, I'm not gonna do I already. It now. I just restarted my VM. Anyway, stopping. Anyways, thanks for yeah. watching. I have to stop the video now. Say bye. See ya.